Terry guys, welcome back to a new episode from Mind Down the Road Productions and as you can see, we just rolled into Sutton's Bay in Michigan here and I managed to uh, park next to a Harley soft tail. soft tail classic I believe Teresa and our granddaughters and Marina Teresa's daughter are somewhere close by I'll intercept them somewhere beautiful ride in you know freaking GoPro batteries again for me on the uh, way here I'll get the route out of here which was stunning motorcycle riding uh, just fantastic the route I took in so maybe I'll be able to share that as another ta -da, montage so you guys can see it but here let me walk out this way and a lot like Glen Harbor a little bit a little bit more mature okay. there goes the three-wheeler so there's uh behind me Sutton's Bay it is a beautiful beautiful bay that way with crystal clear blue water sailboats everything and I'll try to get over that way. And here, you can see that kink in the main street, so I'll walk over that way. So let's uh, get into this, and thanks for being here. Thank you guys so much. A few moments later. Okay, so here is past the uh, kink in the road, and I'll spin just a little bit. Right there, you can see some stuff going by me. And back that way is the waterfront, so I think I'm gonna walk there right now. Go down that way okay i am at sutton's bay and this is one of the boat docks right here and the bay is right over there i'll make it over there soon but look how clean this water is you can look you can see the bottom so they do take care of the great lakes more than they used to and these are just sailboats out here and i just can't believe how clean the water is you could jump in there and here is the uh dock area and some people are lucky enough to to live uh, here and look out their windows every day at this so so lots of sailboats and uh, there's your main channel out to the bay right here and I'll go back really great motorcycle ride into here I went from Crystal Mountain Thompsonville Michigan to where we're at right now, Sutton's Bay, and just share with you some of these beautiful boats. The uh, unsalted coast in Michigan is phenomenal, and I'll stop filming here in a second. Look at that. And I'll get out to the water here. I'm gonna walk out on the beach, okay? Okay, I'm now on the beach area. You can see more boats behind me and how they get out that way into the bay. I'm going to do a slow turn here so you guys can see more Sutton's Bay. Super beautiful. Right here, more boats behind those rock breakaways. And here's a beach you can use. Super hyper clean water. And this is a beautiful day. Not only was it a perfect day for motorcycle riding, but just a great day for, uh, gosh, if you wanna go swimming. Just a general Goldwing update for everybody. So I've never had our Goldwing Tour. It's a 2018 six-speed manual and I think most people know the six-speed manual when they made it alongside the DCT more people chose the DCT but I don't know why because of the low speed maneuverability issues with the DCT and some other things I'm aware of the six-speed is faster from the factory gets better gas mileage and, and was less expensive so Honda should bring it back because you know the words getting out we're advocates for the six-speed gold wings. They should not be passed in your purchase decision just because you want a DCT or you're looking at other bikes and you're skipping a gold wing six-speed. The base version, my buddy Adam's got it and it's a hot bike. It's got a six-speed like I do. No, he's, he's got a DCT, but it doesn't matter. I'd put that cruiser up against my Rocket 3 GT any day of the week. Now, when I rode our bike, our Goldwing Tour with him. Uh, I think he had it in sport mode, but I kept up with him just fine. You know, I don't like to race uh, my bikes in traffic like that. That's a recipe for disaster, but uh, you know, the Goldwings are so much fun to ride in sport mode or ride fast because they balance so well with the center of gravity with the engine. So I'm lucky to have two bikes right now. I didn't plan it that way and I never thought I'd get 
into a gold wing until much later in my life. And, you know, I thank my lucky stars that Teresa loves me and lets me ride two motorcycles right now. It isn't like, you know, look at what I got. I hate these channels that do that. Look at what I got. It makes you feel bad, right? And, uh, you know, uh, getting out on any motorcycle on a day like today and basing out of somewhere, you know, we're basing out of Crystal Mountain right now, but it doesn't matter where you stay. And coming through Sutton's Bay, going to Glen Arbor, going to Leyland All and some of these other cities. I mean, it's very true. Motorcycle riding is good for your soul. You just forget about your problems when you're on it, and I, and I do too. Because, you know, your focus is on your zone around you, keeping the bike balanced and riding safely. You just don't think about other things in your life. But this is the Goldwing's very first time on M22, so I get to put that decal on there and put the M22 decal on it now. The Rocket 3 GT's got the decal. And, you know, tomorrow, heck, where will I go tomorrow? <laughs> uh, we'll figure that one out. Uh, we came through near Traverse City to come into Sutton's Bay. Traverse City's another nice area. So, more so than uh, this being like a travel log, like, hey, come visit Sutton's Bay. I don't work for the state of Michigan. I'm just saying, what a place to ride a motorcycle, right? And, and um, really enjoy that ride. And so for me, it was about a 230 mile trip up here by bike. And then uh, all that other riding right now, I should be at around 400 plus miles on the, on the bike. And by the time I get back home on Sunday, maybe seven to 800 miles will be on the bike. I don't know, but the Goldwing Tour has been phenomenal. Uh, it's been a great handler and it's been fun to ride and I, I've just kept it in tour mode. That's it. Uh, you know, it's just a beautiful day. M22 is great. I wanna go out and face the cold but it's a really good time for a monologue. Can't let this pass, I find it hard to breathe. Time is up, the bell has rang And it's really hard to understand But losing you now is the only choice for me But someday, I rode so cross before And someday, our ocean will find its shore boat docked in Sutton's Bay. It's right here. Got a nice five horsepower motor. I'd sail it across the ocean. Off they go. Lucky people. Very lucky people. Well this wraps another episode. Yesterday we trucked it out to Glen Arbor, dealt with some spotty weather. Today we left in spotty weather and now the sun's out. It's just beautiful. We're in Sutton's Bay right off of M22. M22 runs through downtown and I can't say enough about the motorcycle riding uh, in this area whether you're on m22 or the roads that feed into it you're not going to be disappointed biggest thing you got to watch out for is early morning and dusk deer and stuff jumping out in the road but i haven't seen anything like that i think the goldwing is not as loud as a harley or some other bikes that might help in that area but you know i think when a deer hears a harley a loud harley it might jump and get startled and run into the road that's what i hear uh, i don't know so Beautiful bay. I feel blessed to be alive to stand here in a spot like this that is so serene, you know. Uh, we've all got stuff coming at us. Life's not fair. I'm dealing with that bullshit right now in the worst way in another area of my life. And, and uh, you know, sometimes people feel threatened by your capability and what you can really do. 
and they treat you poorly or try to move you on. So, uh, you know, with all that, to disconnect from bullshit like that and stand in a spot like this and, uh, you know, think about uh, our channel on Down the Road Productions. It's growing. You guys are really supporting and encouraging us, and I'm grateful. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I appreciate, we appreciate you spending your valuable time with us uh, watching our videos. Make sure, you know, everybody take care of each other. Uh, thank you. We're so grateful for your support. And until next episode, be peaceful and take good care of each other. Thank you, everyone.